Welcome back, everybody. Welcome if you are new. Today, we're in the Arca series here at Nashville Fairgrounds. Hopefully, we can do pretty decent. We're card number five here out of 24. This is going to be rough. Uh, we got Justin in here, Chad. We got Barry in here, who didn't run a lap yet, but some fast guys, but we are the five card. That's a problem within itself, so let's get to qualifying. Did some practice laps. Kind of saw uh, Justin's, like, kind of line and stuff. You want to run, like, the second groove, like, right in between the uh, two seams you could see like right on that dotted line and then kind of arc it down for the exit that's uh, the quickest way and this track's pretty slick if you get on throttle too hard on exit so you got to be careful with that and the gearing sounds weird because you're like green flag, green flag. maxing out really early that sun is brutal but we will see what we could do hopefully we could have a decent time try to start somewhat up front be in the car number five Justin is distracting me, trying to read that. That was a decent lap, though. 807, I'll take that. Fast as I ran in the our session before was like a mid-7. And Justin ran like in the 6s and said uh, this would be a couple tenths slower. So I, I think it, it wasn't as slow as he expected. But that was a solid two laps. What was the second lap there? Second lap, 799. Hell yeah, we got in the 7s. With Chad. Chad ran a fast seven. Justin's up front, of course. Not shocked by that, but we'll be starting somewhere up front, it looks like, so I'm very happy about that. Hopefully, we can uh, hold on to a somewhat top spot, but great lap by them two. That is gr awesome. Barry's up here, too, so we got all the boys we know up here, so that's great. Hopefully, we don't end up in a wreck with them early on, but so far, we're starting fourth, which isn't the worst because, uh, honestly, the little bit of a higher line is okay. So, I'm okay with starting here. Hopefully, nobody else beats us out for the rest of this, but we'll get going here for the green flag. All right, we're going to roll off for this track. We're still in fourth behind Barry. We got Justin right here, Chad to our inside. I'm just ready to unclick my fuels just in case we end up in a wreck and we uh, go and get our fast repair. Don't want to uh, have that on and slow us down. Because uh, with this being like the first split, there's only like 47 people that registered, which is shocking. But I think a lot of people don't own this track or like the track maybe, potentially. But uh, we'll see what we could do here hopefully we can have a nice clean race but i have a feeling there might be a lot of people that wreck and this track is pretty easy to spin out on so guys. Have fun. hopefully we can uh have a nice clean race that sun is brutal in three and four geez off of turn four so bad it's so bright what time is it in game? Uh, six o'clock it's not too bad but it'll probably be in our face the entire time I'm it's gonna be a quick race too. 45 laps with about 19 seconds a lap roughly just remember, you don't need to go full throttle until yeah. very, very late in the corner. Yeah, not at all. I don't use. I don't I even get full down. throttle until like exit, honestly. But we'll That's see how different. this goes. We should have a decent start being up front, and we don't have to worry about the guys, um, like checking up in front of us because they got the leader in front row, <laughs> in front of us. So I'm happy about that. And we got a bunch of people we trust uh, on our inside, right, right in front of us at least. So good luck to everybody. Shifted a little late going into third, but we're good. Try not to do anything stupid this early. Inside. Wasn't planning on getting on, the, on Chad's outside, but it worked. He just ran low there. Clear, clear, clear. Wasn't really expecting that at all. But being on the outside, we're able to get by him. That's good. So starting on the outside definitely has its benefits. And we'll see if we can try to follow Barry and Justin and see what kind of lines they run and see if we could pick up on anything in this race. Main thing is I don't want to goose the throttle and spin this car out because we we're in line for probably a top five position, I would think, as long as we don't bin it. So I'm just going to take it a little easy. If Chad gets racy with us, I'll let him go. But there's no real like tire saving here, I would say. I don't think. So we're just kind of going for it because it's short track racing. Oh my god, the bumps are so bad on the bottom. I got down way too early there. You can see how like jagged the track is. It's nuts. Sorry, Justin. Catching up the berry a little bit there through the corners. I need there. Could be using too much right front, honestly. Not breaking enough. They could be breaking more to get the car to rotate easier. 
five hit the fastest lap. Interesting. That's his four car that got in front of Chad. He is absolutely flying right now. He just did not have a good uh, qualifying time, apparently. There's a big bump in the bottom of turn two. If you go down too early. But we're running pretty good. Got a little sideways there. Did not like that. There's not much place to go at the moment. It's not like we're much faster, if at all, than these two anyways. Justin's kind of just setting the pace for us. Yeah, I'm not getting low enough for the exit. My exit speed's not very good. So I might be going too deep into the corner and getting on throttle too early. I'm going down too early in one and two. And I think three and four, I'm going down too late. So let's try to fix that. Oh, getting loose. That wasn't great. This four car is going to have a little bit of a run on us. Yeah, that bump on the bottom turn two is bad. Four car is going to get on our inside. Not really going to try to race them too hard right now. It's still really early. And I'm feeling a little loose right now. Oh, geez. I was not expecting him to come all the way up to our door. Trying to give him plenty of room just because, uh, tight racing. Geez, he wants to squeeze us all the way up into the wall, apparently. So I checked up so we didn't wreck on the backstretch there. You, you go have fun. You go chase down Barry and Justin. But that was getting a little sketchy there with him. Because I've been getting a little loose. I need to stay a little higher through one and two, I feel like. Because that bump in the bottom of turn two is really killing me. Too much rotation there. Chad's a little bit behind us. Running really well. See, that feels so much better. But I think uh, it's slower on the exit. Winning a little too hot there. Using a little bit too much throttle through three and four right there. I need to take it a little more easy. Saw some smoke there off turn four. A couple cars on pit road as well. So we might start running into some lap traffic here sooner or later, potentially. Don't see anybody on pit road anymore. Trying to unload the wheel before we really get on throttle so we don't get too loose. Because that's definitely why we're getting sideways. Yeah, there's a couple cars on pit road right now. One's rolling through it. So we might start running into some lap traffic here soon, which will be very interesting. Yeah, I'm trying to straighten out our wheel before we get fully on throttle. That's definitely why I was getting loose. Appreciate that. Good grief, man. More smoke. Hey, it looks like people are resetting or in towing to the pits potentially really fast because we haven't really no, seen anybody. The guy that is the red car I saw rolling through pit road a few laps ago. Oh, we are sideways. I'm, go I'm going way too deep into these corners right now. I'm not being smooth. I'm kind of taking more of a sharp angle into the corner instead of like a wide angle and like turning in because I feel like that is looser to me. I don't like it as much at these short tracks in the ARCA car. The good exit off of four I felt like. Pulling away from Chad slightly, that's okay. I'm happy with that. Need to figure out one and two a little bit more because the bumps are a lot worse through one and two. So it's a little looser. Barry is staying right on Justin this entire time. He's doing a damn good job up there putting the pressure on him. So any mistake Justin makes, which he doesn't hardly make any, uh, he'll be there to capitalize. The only time I've ever seen Justin really make a mistake, I feel like, is a short track, though. So I've Big seen him make one or two wrecks. Oh, the four car. He saves it. Good save by the four. These things are hard to save. I saw the car up on the wall. I didn't know he was still going to be up there. Apparently, he uh, reset, though. So I took a really bad angle on the one. I just wanted to be low just in case he started turning back down the track and got the four car or something like that. You never know with the lap cars where they're going to go. 
We're catching back up to this four. Justin's starting to pull away a little bit up there, it looks like. He's just probably being much more consistent on uh, his laps. Where are our lap times right now? 19.7. So, yeah, lap times have dropped like a second from qualifying already. Tire wear is definitely a thing. Don't know how big it is. Dragging the brake a little bit too much there, I felt like. I'm not as good in one and two for sure. One and two is definitely not my good corner. Even though I feel like I'm not good at bo both corners for the most part. Chad and the two car have slowly been catching us, I feel like. But passing is a tougher thing said than, or it's easier said than done. It's tough to uh, pass here, I feel like, when everybody's pretty similar in speed up here. You gotta wait for a mistake or get under them and hope they give you the position or somehow get to somebody's outside. But I think that's gonna be impossible to do. Everybody up here knowing the outside lane's kind of the more preferred groove. Stayed in that second lane too much, got a little loose off the corner. Try not to make any sudden movements with the wheel. Oh, four, four cars sideways again. He is pushing it. Justin's doing 19 fives up there. Yeah, he's being much more consistent than us. Like two tenths quicker than us a lap right now. But that's the difference between like the 7K that he is and the almost 4K that we are. Trying to hit 4K this season. This could be a good race for us. Last week was not a very good in I rating for us. As uh, we lost a little bit, I think, both at Kentucky and Arca and Indy in the Gen 4s. We got a little sideways there. Getting too low, too much turning of the, the wheel and getting on throttle at the same time. But we're applying some pressure here to the four car, hoping he'll make some more mistakes. And we can take advantage of it. Because we gave him a lot of room earlier, but I don't know if we'll get the same amount of uh, room back. We're already past halfway, that's cool. I think that was literally just halfway. Yeah, this four car is like dog walking it off the corners. He is very loose, but we are at times too. And the two car is caught up to Chad behind us, and Chad has caught us a little bit as well. So we'll see if uh, anything happens between them. This four car is all over the place right now. Trying not to run in the back of him. He's like really loose. I thought he got the wall a little bit there. Oh yeah, he is super loose right now. See if we can't take advantage of it. Slow car in front of us. That's not good. He's down on the bottom though at least. Yeah, he is super sideways. Try not to run him over. I'm trying to get a run on him at the same time. But he's definitely slowing us down. Trying to get to his inside now. If we can. Oh my god, he is all sideways. I can, I'm can. i just watching his front wheel like turn right more than left. Oh, he's in the wall. That's going to help us. Might be able to clear him here. Not quite. Trying to run it as hard as we can without getting into him. Because he is super sideways. I'm trying to get by him. Oh, that's my bad. I tapped him. I went in the corner a little too hot there. Some really tight racing, but damn, he is so loose right now. I got the wall with him. Chad's letting the two car by. Oh my god, this four car is all over the place, man. I just can't get by him. I need him to be loose when we're side by side with him to so he loses some momentum. I need to like get a dive bomb and kind of slide him a little bit, but I can't slide up. But hopefully he doesn't get too loose and um, hook us or anything. Of course, he's not getting sideways and losing his speed when we're side by side with him. 
But also, we're a little slow. We're running this lower lane, too. It's not that fast. So I can't get on throttle until super, super late. Chad's holding off the two back there, though. Thought he was letting them by for a minute. That sun is brutal. This is some tight racing here. This is some good short track racing, though. You can't really do any bump and runs. Oh, I got sideways there. That was bad on me. That was very sketchy. I got on throttle too hard there. And as the four cars are about to lose it up there again. Let's see if we can't get back by Chad. Try to go fight with the four car. It's just the bumps down there are so damn hard to, to run on. Might lose it to the two car as well. This is a really tight battle. This is crazy. Barry's got a hot key for thanks for the lap cars. The thing is, we haven't really caught many lap cars yet. The lap cars are going to be very interesting being too wide if we uh, get by, if we get to some too wide. That was a good exit off of four. We're still faster than this four car, man, I swear. Got in front of Chad, that's good. Locked him up a little bit, messed up, because I thought I was going to run into the back of the four. Luckily, we didn't lock him in, like, spin. Oh, the four car. There's nowhere to go. That's unfortunate. The four car screwed up, and there was nowhere for us to go. We need to reverse it. Turn it around. I was all I was like slowed up, but there was nothing I could do at that point. That was uh, unfortunate for us. Justin's going by us. We're going to lap down here. We're locked in. Yeah, I got caught up in somebody messing up, couldn't slow quick enough because I was side by side. Oh well, it happens. I don't. I think the four car is still going just fine too, which is really unfortunate for us. We were running really well. And that four car, I was trying to get by him for the longest time, so we didn't get caught up in a wreck of his, but didn't really have anywhere to go at that point, which sucks. I think all three of the guys we were racing with are still going just fine. I don't think anybody else really spun out, as far as I know. The four car might have spun out, but I'm really not sure. But damn, we had a good shot at a top five there. We should have had a top five. Oh, and it's white flag now? Oh, man. What a bummer. Oh, the four car's on pit road. He definitely spun out. Okay. That's unfortunate. So that's two of us that should have had a good finish and don't. But we end up a lap down and going uh, into 17th because uh, our car is kind of damaged. I cannot get this thing to ro rotate at all anymore. It's definitely down on some power and stuff. But, oh, well, that's how the cookie crumbles sometimes, man. And uh, these short track races, that's super unfortunate. Good win by Justin. Good second place by Barry. Yeah, the two car got third, and uh, Chad still got fourth. So, man, that was rough. That's super unfortunate because we were having such a good race there. That was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. But yeah, our front end was so destroyed. They were at like 93, 91, 93, 90. Mine are very jaded from our slide, so there's no reason for me to even put it in there. But, uh, yeah, I need to go back and see uh, that because that was just super unfortunate, man. We were having such a good battle. Because we tap a little bit, just uh, net code, I guess, barely there. Because uh, he wanted to run that faster line. The four car was just so damn sideways. I was trying to check up by keeping some speed, but he smacked the wall and it just it just uh, ruined his momentum. And we just barely got in the back of him. That's so sad. If we could have kept going straight there, that would have been all right. Because uh, we hit, and then I was trying to straighten it out right there, but we didn't get to uh, straighten it out, unfortunately. We had to do a whole backup and all that, and then keep going, which sucks. But that is what it is. That's short track racing for you. We were having a hell of a time there uh, trying to get by him, but that was a lot of fun. Uh, let's go back to the very beginning and see all the incidents that happened. Because there's going to be a lot of them, I would imagine. 20 car going to go too hot off turn 4. Get the wall. That's going to probably happen a lot. 15 car blinking. Okay. 19 car getting loose. Going into the inside wall. Nosing it. Sliding back up a little bit. 22 car into the inside wall. That's weird. He's going to come back up on track. He's going to keep it fine though. I thought he was going to slide right up into somebody. 
Somebody's sliding up here, the 12 car. Oh, gee, that's a big net code. That's super unfortunate. Because uh, the 24 is like sideways there, coming right in front of the 45. He checks up a little bit, and that checkup uh, doesn't keep his speed right here. And the 14, like, net code's really bad into him. And he goes up in the wall, gets the opening. Really hurt his car a lot. 14 car, blinks, okay. 24 car was sideways earlier. Gets sideways again. The 14 car just gets in the back of him as well. Just ran him over. That's unfortunate timing. Oh, yeah, we saw him up there. We went low. He uh, went to the pits right there. 20 car, he's going to lose it. No, just blink. 18 car, going to lose it off of turn four. Nope, go and get the wall. He just straightened it out a little bit too much. 11 car, trying to avoid that 18. Does get sideways, though, and hits the inside wall. This 11 gets the apron and those bumps just get some sideways into the inside wall. There wasn't a whole lot like coming back up into the track though, which was nice. But uh, they just uh, all were getting the wall. Man, we were having a tight battle here. That was so fun. We were having a really good battle. Two car gets the wall there a little bit. And this is where the four car, he was just so sideways. He burnt up his rear tires or was just super loose the entire time. I was trying to avoid him the best we could, unfortunately. And uh, him getting, like, if he wouldn't have gotten the wall, if he would have kept the car straight without getting the wall, I, we would have been just fine because I was really hard. Um, I was, like, off throttle for a while there and trying to slow up for him because I knew uh, the two car was going to get by us on the inside and then Chad was probably going to get by us as well. So it is what it is, 17th. It is, uh, that is That's short track racing for you. Like Barry said, wrong place, wrong time. Yeah, that's fine. We had a great battle. There. That was a lot of fun. So I might run this again this week just to try to get a better result because I know we can. We, we definitely can run top five easy. Two car went from 12th to third. Good run on him, but let's go see the results. Ooh, that's going to take a hit. It's minus 68 there. That's rough. 1,000 I rated on the second split. That's pretty damn funny. But uh, 2,300 for us. I knew it was going to be a lower strength of field, so I knew there would be more people wrecking all over the place. But we were having a really tight battle there with uh, Trevor there, Chad, and the four car of, I think it was Michael. Yeah, Michael. We were having a great battle with. But I knew sooner or later he was getting so sideways, he was going to loop it at some point. And uh, just got sideways enough to hit the wall right in front of us, which sucked. And uh, we just wrong place, wrong time. It is what it is. That stuff happens. Lose the 68 there. We had a bunch of safety. So I'm not worried about that. Great gain by uh, Chad there. Justin over 7,500. That is nuts. Barry up there over 5K. Great job on you, man. That's awesome. He's getting 5K. I'm trying to hit 4K, man, on Oval. I know we can do it. We just get in the wrong place at wrong times like this race right here because we should have had like between third and sixth, something like that because uh, Michael was in there and me. So that would have made two other cars like right here with Trevor and Chad. So between third and sixth, we were running like the entire time, which we only fell back to fifth at the lowest until the wreck but man that was some fun racing hopefully you guys enjoyed that and uh i would definitely give the combo a try if you're worried about everybody spinning just run your race you might be in the wrong place at the wrong time that's just some short track racing it does happen but uh if you just stay nice and uh clean like look at justin his best time was a 19-0 and uh, most other people had a faster time than him on the race like i know i had a faster lap than him on the race i had an 895 but he just kept his tires better and just drove away slowly from barry and barry's not slow at all he was very quick so you just have to stay nice and steady and uh, just be real smooth and everything like that. Just don't get too sideways. Just be nice and smooth. Don't do anything stupid. And hopefully the cards fall your way if the lap car is not wrecking right in front of you or anything. So hopefully you guys enjoyed nonetheless. Appreciate you guys for watching as always. And I will catch you guys in the next one.